Hey, Patrick. Hey, Jay, how you doing? <laughs> What we got here is uh, a year and roughly a year actually of, of growth and pretty much everything in here started as one inch frags. So let's look at this. I mean, it's this, this purple money. It's an easy coral to grow. This is was six one inch frags, which have now grown into this rather large colony by, by Aquarius standards, all fused together. How do you achieve this? So these systems are really, really actually very simple. So everything that we've done with uh, the DLI testing for Coral Labs, we want it to all be 100% relatable to the average hobbyist. Uh, nothing very complicated. Uh, they're all bare bottom. These are coral tanks, which are different than your tank at home, obviously. But all the systems well, are the same principle. Well, only in dimension. Right? Only in dimension. Only in dimensions. Only in dimensions. But they're all very relatable systems. We uh, are using Instant Ocean base salt. Uh, we test our calcium, our alkalinity, and our magnesium on a regular basis. Uh, they're being dosed with a dosing pump. Do you do ICP testing or no? Uh, we have done it on occasion, just to see if our values were correct and to see but if it, our trace elements were It's not a religious off. week by week, gotcha. Nope. Okay. Nope. We're not dosing any amino acids. We're not doing carbon source dosing. Trace uh, elements? No trace elements. Uh, we are feeding some phytoplankton into here. Um, we recently put it onto a dosing pump, but prior to that, and for the, for the duration of the test, it was not on a dosing pump, and it was not being done on a regular basis. It was an occasional, okay, uh, I think I'm going to dose some of this in, which is probably about as regular as people do it on their tank at home. It's like, yeah, I think, you know, maybe my tank could benefit from this. So we run carbon, uh, we run phosphate media, and we dose our calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium, uh, you know, according to what the tank is consuming and what the tank needs. That's it. Very simple. And all these purple caps, they all started as little frags about this big on a frag plug upside down. And next thing you know, they're in this giant mass colony that's all fused itself together. And, uh, and, and that's very attainable for the average person at home. So everything you see in the core labs, these results are very, very, very easy and very easy for you to see at home on your own. Good to know. I think it's something that we, we, don't, we don't necessarily communicate, you know, when we're, we're testing or people. I have seen that before in terms of comments about, about the Coral Lab studies or information we put out. Well, that's an aquaculture facility. It's not the same as my home tank. And the reality is, is that it, for all intents and purposes, it is pretty much the same as, as a home tank. This is the same as your home tank. And that is exactly why we chose these species. We have lots of the, okay, this is a pretty baller, crazy mm -hmm. acro. But apart from this piece, everything else in here yeah, it's is your bread and very butter. bread and butter, very relatable pieces. They're available at 99% of the shops out there. Uh, and it's very easy results to, to replicate at home. No amino awesome. acid dosing, no carbon source. And these are not very, you know, advanced topics either, but we wanted to, you know, use the keep it yeah, simple. Yeah, and like in, in these systems, we wanted to keep it as simple as possible. Absolutely. Yeah. Very cool. Well, thank you, Patrick. That's, uh, thank you. you know, how to grow them, how to grow them big at Grow them and show them. Grow them and show them. <laughs>